Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampath you are watching Sampath SamFX YouTube channel and this is POCO X3 Pro custom ROM reviews here specifically uh, Rising UI 1.3 with Android version 13 you can see some of the hardware information and Android version 13 here as you can see um, 1.3 Dwaraka edition August 5th 2023 is the security patch and Rising OS 1.3 release date is also recent here and kernel user is 4.14.230 Peri Rice KSU kernel and this is a typical home screen you get and this is the quick settings panel water you get you also get a automatic brightness toggle and other things are also working fine as you can see and this is how the home screen and you also get here app is active status and settings and even you get a power button you can directly boot into recovery in order to use that you need to enable the advanced restart button in the settings i'll be showing within a while and this is how the uh, folders can be shown here and this is typical app drawer you get you guys can see which is fine here and i will start some of the benchmark this is first the android benchmark you get a 5 lakh 40 here 2.5 degrees celsius is the temperature is and three percentage of battery has been dropped during this entire testing which is fine here uh, thermal throttling will be seeing the cpu throttling thermal throttling is fine here and some of the other benchmark results i have took screenshot oh, yeah i will start with the geek bench here you can see single score is 965 and multi score is 2366 again the kernel user is 4.14.2320 peri rice ksu linux kernel has been used in this particular room and i have run the cpu throttling test for 100 test i mean 100 thread test you can see here i got some error between the test and you can also see the graph this is the one uh, error or bug whatever it is i got this pop pop notification or the window opened here you can see android service library keeps stopping i got several times like that and this is the result i got for this particular room you can see the maximum is not a problem here you get around 233 million gps and average is 142 and minimum is 99 gps and you can see it's throttled to 54 percent of its max performance the entire graph is around red here after certain time one two minutes it's getting red uh, install stage it is fine very next two to three minutes it's getting throttle it's around 10 minutes 39 seconds you can see uh, if i run even 15 minutes it would have been red enough hence i got to know there is a little bit throttling going on according to this app but once i rebooted my smartphone and now trying to use the smartphone i haven't run cpu throttling test again but here i haven't get the pop-up notification whatever i shown uh, before maybe it's a bug initially but as of now it's good but once you flash the rom check out and charging rapidly it will get like this initially charging slowly later it will gradually increase up to uh, 20 22 watts it's supported the 33 watt charging highest fast charging available in this particular room no need to worry about that then this is typical home skin you get wallpapers and style options here i really like the uh, more wallpapers it takes a little bit of time but once you get here as you can see you get even nothing wallpapers and some of the rising beauty which are i kept nothing wallpapers also you can keep bloom is still available which is a old version and feathers which is new one if you want you can use them there are plenty of wallpapers are pre-installed in this room and also you get app grid here in this area i felt little bit lag you can see uh, apart from that everything is fine in the ui you also get a uh, gcam pre-installed here is it a gcam or a google go camera yeah it's a google go camera pre-installed in this particular room all the basic things can be done if you want you can use advanced gcam ports are available for poco x why you are bima you can use them and i used uh, firmware 14.0.3 global one if you can also use the same and flash the rom and reboot to i mean format data and reboot to uh, system you get this rom will be flash which is very simple flashing method i have made a dedicated video i will give a card section here you can check out a short video not a full video you can check out there the flashing method instead of flashing that rom you need to flash this rom that's the only difference what i can say and 
regarding DRM information again no need to worry you get a level 1 certified such that you can watch all the OTT application in high definition resolution again I got that pop-up notification and again you get a Dolby Atmos from Moto that's present in this particular room you get plenty of options you can even customize them as you can see you can base boost them uh, vocal boost flat you can enable the surround virtualizer and volume leveler from here which is cool enough and internet connectivity i have missing here a fiber connection it is 100 mps plan it's pulling up to 80 90 mps uh, which is quite good i even tried with uh, bsnl 3g i don't have 4g here that's also working fine i use bsnl sim here but mostly i use on wi-fi which is working fine in this particular rom Aku battery results you can see so it's loading some of the libraries here meanwhile if you are first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like you can see the status of the Aku battery you will get a little bit of idea what I know can what I notice in this particular ROM is you might get a better battery life but it's not a performance oriented ROM I even tried playing BGM it's not that great uh, but day-to-day -day experience is good just that bug what I have explained could have been fixed out of the ROM I can find some of the solution for that if you have anything let me know in the comment section guys and moving into settings this is how the typical settings panel you get which is uh, similar to any other AOSP ROMs you get uh, personalization here you get a lock screen customization you can see it is arranged in tile section and other things you can see in the settings you can see battery information uh, miscellaneous settings you get these three options which you might get into use it or well, the main thing is unlimited photo storage in google photos you need to enable that and in order to get an unlock high fps count like bgmi now they have enabled the 90 fps option in the recent build you can try that too and the sound you get these kind of options i uh, one thing i really liked in this particular rom is the vibration haptic which is very good in my opinion they need to add this kind of vibration haptics in the upcoming builds too at least they should maintain the similar things again quick settings you get a battery percentage and battery style here you can see there are plenty of options has been given the ui here and there getting laggy here choppy it's not uh, deal breaker but still they would have been fixed this and this is the latest build uh, i hope if you are in older build stay with that build don't jump and update this build you get all the options logo other things you can see on the screen here user interface wise also you get plenty of options in terms of customization moreover it's a good rom with uh, different uh, visual experience you get here and we'll be seeing this battery stats you can see here battery usage also you can see uh, individually how much app consumed for what certain minutes you also get a cycles and temperature and even battery saver options extreme battery saver options are also given in this particular room adaptive preferences are also given here uh, which is cool enough this is a good rom what i can say but uh, there is little bit of choppy not the great one previous version has very good experience but that is not the case with this particular version of the rom you can see you can get a system haptics you can see the uh, settings you can increase or decrease and the pattern d triple z and three d triple z is good here if want you can change them again you get options like me sound and answer uh, anyhow i recommend to use the uh, moto dolby atmos will make you a difference while using a 3.5 mm headphone jack while connecting them you will get a better experience haptic feedback strength also you can adjust from here again uh, uh, accessibility settings you get this where is the display options yeah here you get a dark theme let's turn it on it's not a pitch black condition will it have any options no yeah it is having here just turn this use pure black then it will be in pitch black condition which is good and colors you can choose them and rgb strength also you can adjust manually from here minimum maximum refresh rate also can be kept here and full screen apps if a certain app is not playing in the full screen you can also enable that from here tap to wake you just enable that and tap to sleep is already enabled 
and security features like face unlock and fingerprint unlock and even the app unlock is also given pre-installed in this particular ROM no need to worry regarding that too location and Google Maps Google Pay like uh, I need to show this before anything else yeah you will get passed here such that you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay all are going to work fine and drm information also i already shown you all these things are good but just the uh, android web app view whatever the app let me check it out that's the one bug i have faced as of now uh, android service library getting stopped apart from that everything is fine and gaming it's not a gaming or hardcore gaming rom but you can try that if you like the video give it a like and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button we'll be uh, seeing you with another interesting video until that keep smelling bye bye for now